Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Gadget 360 show. Now, this is a show whose very name tells you what's going to happen on the show. It's Gadget 360, which means we'll take a 360 degree around the entire world of tech, gadgets, gizmos, devices, the newest technology. And we've got it all for you here today. Today, we've got the new MacBook Pro 13. So it's faster. It's got some new interesting things that they've done. The keyboard is completely changed. It's got some really, really cool things. But is it really that much better than the previous generation? Then we'll move on to another laptop. This is the laptop generation. We all suddenly have realized how critical laptops are for all of us in our current situation. This is H piece laptop, the 14S. Now, slightly plasticky finish. I'm not overly thrilled with the look and feel for it, but this is not a very, very premium in terms of price also. Around 45,000 rupees, it brings LTE into the world of laptops here in India. Then we'll move on to wireless charging, something from Belkin that is a very interesting one, a wireless mat as they call it. And then we'll move on to a Xiaomi robotic vacuum cleaner. Now, in India, we already have some companies that do some thing like this and some of them are doing very very well milagro has a lot of stuff and they really do fantastic stuff so what is this robotic vacuum cleaner bring to the market that and a whole lot more happening on the gadget 360 show on the show this week we have the possible king of laptops the macbook pro 2020 edition is here in our studios ready to be fired up and we climb down the price ladder with hp's new 14s a laptop that brings 4G LTE to it. Leave the cleaning to a robot. We review the Mi Robot Vacuum Mop P to see if it can do a neat job. All happening on the show today. Of course, first we'll start off with all the news coming in from the world of gadgets and gizmos. Samsung has launched its Q-Series soundbar and its T-Series soundbar in India. There is also a sound tower that is designed to be a party speaker with features like karaoke, LED party lights and a DJ effect. It offers up to 1500 watts of audio output. There are two variants of the sound tower and it starts at 29,990 rupees. The Q-series soundbar claims to create a unique surround sound from the TV. It has Dolby Atmos and has a complete 3D audio flow around the user. This soundbar is Alexa enabled and starts at 35,990 rupees and goes up to 1,39,990 rupees. The T-Series soundbar offers a crisp 3D surround sound, can be connected through an HDMI port and also features Dolby Atmos. This starts at 10,990 rupees. We'll start off with this, the MacBook Pro 13 from Apple. Now, the MacBook Pro has been a staple for a very, very long time. Uh, people swear by the form factor. People swear by the performance. People swear by the dependability of what it actually brings between the software and the hardware. What Apple and a MacBook Pro do, no other laptop really comes anywhere near. So what does this one do that's different? I mean, it's got that uh, magic keyboard, as they call it, or the you know new kind of a keyboard that Apple has now moved on to with all their laptops, 80% faster graphics, the i7 processor, it's got the T2 security chip. So it's got some of the things that you really want. It's got that touch bar in front that really actually eventually everyone starts using. So the way people think about it is first you're very excited and you use it, then you kind of think, uh, I'm not really using it much. And then again, you rediscover it like I have actually, and you start using it all the time. Let's take a look at the new MacBook Pro 13. It is that time of the year where we whip out one of the most awaited laptops of the year. Lo and behold, the MacBook Pro. This time, a 13-inch beast, Apple loyalists have a lot to cheer about and we'll take a look at just that and everything the 2020 edition of the MacBook Pro packs in. In this exceptional year where more people find themselves working remotely, laptops are the need of the hour. So if you haven't switched to a MacBook yet, is this the perfect time to do it? It's time to review the MacBook Pro 2020 and tell you. Apple has not strayed away from their usual design. Luckily for them and us, it works well. We have the Space Gray variant for review and it is a thing of beauty. The 13-inch form factor is a great size or rather the perfect size for a MacBook. It's not wieldy like the previous 16-inch variant, but it has got a bit more heavy. The screen still has some bezels which we are no longer fans of. 
but otherwise this is a beautiful retina display with up to 500 nits of brightness. It is the true tone display with vivid colors. The big change is the new and improved magic keyboard. The magical feel of the keyboard is very much there with a nice inverted T arrangement it really is quick to find the arrow keys now while playing games. The scissor mechanism has improved and there's 1mm of key travel. There's also a physical escape key and the touchpad is spacious. The MacBook Pro does not falter with its keyboard at all. Apple has retained the touch bar which has a nice feel to it. The more we use the MacBook Pros, the more we get used to the functionality of the touch bar. Hardware is a gift on the MacBook Pro that keeps on giving. There's a faster RAM and the performance is great with Intel 10 Gen processors. There's also an integrated Iris Plus graphics chip that gives up to 80% faster performance in video editing and gaming from the previous MacBook Pro. Apple is true to its word here, the MacBook Pro 2020 is blazing fast. We got the top-end variant for review but the base model is set to come with 8th gen Intel processors. The MacBook Pro also comes with 3 Thunderbolt Type-C ports, no more Type-A at all. Good or bad, we leave that to you to decide. There is double the storage on some of the variants from the previous generation. It starts at 256GB and has configurations all the way up to 4TB. This is all SSD storage, so again, blazing fast. Like the previous gen, Apple has included its own T2 security chip in this MacBook Pro lineup as well. The Touch ID is fast and convenient to use. There is immersive wide stereo sound and it's good enough to use without any additional speakers. The new MacBook Pro runs on macOS Catalina. Apple excels on the battery front when compared to its Windows counterpart. And this time too with the MacBook Pro. It has a 58 watt hour battery which will last you around 10 hours of continuous use. Our only gripe with this machine is the 720p webcam that has not seen much improvement. The base model of the MacBook Pro 2020 starts at 1,22,990 rupees. If you are looking at indulging and want powerful graphics and performance that will blow your socks off, this is the MacBook Pro to get. It shaves off on its price and is better in performance when compared to the MacBook Air. The 13-inch size is portable and the new keyboard makes it a breeze to work on. Need we say any more? This is the 14S from HP. I'm not too thrilled with this laptop in terms of the form factor, in terms of the build, in terms of the fit and everything else, but it is a 45,000 rupee laptop and it brings in something that no one else really has here in India, 4G LTE built into this laptop. So that is a big deal. i3, i5 configurations, like I said, 45,000 rupees. The reason we're doing two laptops on the show is because the demand from all of you for doing laptops has dramatically increased. I think the realization that we've all had now that laptops are a critical device for work from home. I think every one of us has now realized just how important laptops are. So we took a look at the MacBook Pro 13. Let's now move on to the HP laptop. It's raining laptops and we are stepping down the price ladder with this new laptop from HP, the 14S. But this is not just another laptop with a big price tag on it. In fact, it comes in as low as 44,999 rupees. Work from home means relying on the home internet bandwidth to a large extent. And we know how stretched these Wi-Fi bandwidths and speeds are right now. Well, HP has heard you and has launched the 14S with 4G LTE in this laptop. This means no more relying on your Wi-Fi to send across that report in a jiffy or quickly connecting to a Zoom call. Let's see how this laptop fares on other parameters as well. HP's new 14S has a nice smooth finish and doesn't stray too far from the company's usual design. It comes in this natural silver color and has rounded edges. The top lid goes with just the HP logo and it seems to have a firm build. The HP 14S is not very light to hold at around 1.53 kgs. HP has slimmed down the bezels especially on the right and left of the screen and calls this a micro edge display. This is a 14 inch full HD display which does the job. It's bright enough and the colors seem to pop on the screen. It is a reflective screen so going with a darker theme on this laptop might be a good idea. On the performance front there are two variants the laptop brings. One powered by Intel's Core i3 processor and one powered by i5 processor. This is part of the Ice Lake family of processors that most new laptops are bringing. The performance is pretty consistent, but starting our i3 machine took some time. The i3 configuration is paired with a 4GB RAM, while the i5 variant is paired with a 8GB RAM. 
This is the variant that will be snappier. There is ample storage on this laptop, 1 TB on the hard drive and 256 GB SSD storage. HP claims 9 hours of battery on the 14S, but using Chrome Microsoft Edge on this and even having the screen brightness on high, it lasted us for a little more than 6.5 hours. HP always does well with their keyboards and the 14S is no different. It is spacious and the key responsiveness is impressive. The trackpad is big and scrolling, browsing through was a breeze. The front camera is 720p and will do a decent job for video calls. There are lots of connectivity options as well. There's a USB Type-C port and two Type-A ports. There's also a headphone jack. And there's a SIM slot on the side. Just press it once and it will come out, just like a phone. And so, how did the star feature of this laptop do? Let's take a look at the 4G LTE. Well, it's not very complicated to begin with. Once you insert the SIM, Windows 10 will configure the rest for you and you can access the internet through your SIM data, even when on the go. There's no restriction on which plan or service provider will work. We tried this with a prepaid Airtel SIM and it works seamlessly. We used up quite a bit of data with general browsing, so that is something you will have to keep a tab on. Even within the house, we have realized people like working from different places. They don't like to be pinned down to where their adapter is. So they, they move around the house, they go to different places and work um, you know, from different rooms. And at the same time, it's got a long battery life, a very small bezel. So it's a beautiful product, hugely successful and at a very, very strong price point. The HP 14S removes the stress of an unreliable Wi-Fi and will let you work from anywhere. While 4G LTE is not a new concept on laptops, the fact that HP manages to price it low makes it a big highlight. But it does only OK on performance and on the design front. It competes with Xiaomi's new notebook that lacked an inbuilt camera. If you are looking at a decent functional laptop below 50K, you can consider the 14S from HP. Now let's move on to the world of robots. Now one day robots are going to take over the world, but right now they seem to be take, wanting to take over the cleaning of the world. That's where a lot of them are really being used. Now we've had some indigenous products out here from Milagro. We've heard of the Roomba, which is of course a much more expensive products. Where does this one from Xiaomi, from me actually fit in? Uh, you know, one of the things that we've got to test is Indian conditions. So, you know, we are a dusty country. We are a country where we need a different kind of vacuuming, a different kind of cleaning system. So does this kind of a robotic vacuum cleaner that is made for different conditions actually very work very well here in India? Well, it's time to put this robotic vacuum cleaner to the test. Swish, swash and have your home all cleaned up. With a few swipes and taps, the burden of cleaning can be lifted from you and left in the hands of the Me robot Vacuum Mop P. It's only available for pre-order right now at 21,999 rupees, but it will start shipping around 15 September. We decided to take the Mop P for a spin around our home and see if it could do the job it promises for this seemingly low price. If you have ever wanted a fancy robot to do your cleaning, hold on tight to that remote. The Mi Robot Vacuum Mop P comes with a sweeping and mopping facility. It can do a dry mop and then even do a wet one with a water tank built in. We pair it with the Mi Home app and connected it using the Wi-Fi. The phone connects with the vacuum cleaner pretty well and it was quick. There is a dock button and a start button on the main screen and once the vacuum cleaner maps the house, it shows the area that it has scanned as well. This feature didn't really work as well for us. But even on the vacuum mop, there are controls to manually do this. It has a laser distance sensor navigation system and with a suction power of 2100 pascals, let's see how good this really is. We switched it on and left it to move around. It kept taking one route in our house and while Xiaomi says it can scan around 8 meters ahead, it didn't seem likely with our review unit. There are 12 multi-directional sensors on this and it can avoid obstacles in its path which is great. It can climb over things and surprisingly not really fall off stairs either. But when it came to cleaning, it didn't leave us very impressed. We tore up some tissues and spread it around. It cleaned up most of it but it did leave a few out. It's not good at cleaning corners either. The wet mop function is good but it cannot replace the power of our good old pocha. It might leave you wanting more. Also, no antiseptic liquid can be added to the water, which is a big miss as well. 
After leaving the mop pee on for about an hour on the sweeping mode, this is the amount of dust and dirt the brush on the bottom gathered. The compartment will need to be cleaned out pretty regularly because it's not too big. There is a 3200 mAh battery on this which gives around 110 minutes of cleaning. It can go around the house and has a brushless motor which doesn't keep things too noisy. Looking under the hood, there's a quad-core Cortex and A7 processor that gives it all its AI muscle. The best part of the Mi Robot Vacuum Mop P is its ability to dock itself with no hassle. If you press the home button on the vacuum cleaner, it finds its way back to its dock and starts charging. If you have to clean up after yourself and have a relatively small home, then the Mi Robot Vacuum Mop P might be for you. It doesn't do the best job cleaning but there is a difference in its performance amongst its various modes. So the pros are that it can be controlled remotely, it has a good battery life and there are various cleaning modes. The cons are that it can't reach all corners, it's not the most effective sweeper and it needs regular cleaning itself. The popular Roomba i series starts at almost 70,000 rupees. So when compared, Xiaomi's 21,999 rupees on pre-order makes it sound like a sweet deal right now. Let's take a quick break right now on the Gadget 360 show. When we come back, I'll show you a Belkin wireless charger. We'll move on now to a Belkin wireless charger, 10 watt charger, any Qi wireless device will work with this. So that pretty much is 95% of the wireless charging world. The only thing is that it's a very interesting looking device, different from what you would think a wireless charger looks like, but it is a little bit more expensive in a world where we are moving now to 30 watt wireless charging. Where does the Belkin actually fit in? Wireless charging is still playing catch up to being nearly as powerful as regular charging. But if you have a phone that supports Qi charging, then we have an option for you from a company that claims to be the number one maker of third-party wireless accessories, Belkin. Belkin has recently announced their wireless pad 10 watts. It is Qi compatible and can juice up a phone with up to 10 watts of charging support. It gives Samsung and some other Android phones up to 9 watts and for an iPhone up to 7.5 watts. Just keep your phone on the flat face and a white LED light will come on, indicating the phone is aligned and is getting charged. It can detect foreign objects too. We kept a key on it and even a phone that doesn't support wireless charging and the LED light turned amber. We even strapped on a case on the iPhone to check if it would do the job and it worked. It works with lightweight plastic cases up to 3mm. The wireless charging pad has a cute animation made on it and it would be a great fit for a bedroom or a work desk. Not just phones, you can also charge your wireless earphones on this charging pad. But it is a little steep at 3,499 rupees. Competition like Xiaomi recently brought a 30 watts wireless charger at 2,299 rupees in India. And there are wireless charging power banks as well now. But if you are looking at adding some cute tech to your desk for that power boost, then Belkin has you covered. That then was the Gadget 360 show for this week. Next week, we've got some fantastic Samsung TVs and a whole lot more. So do tune in. As always, our Gadget 360 journey, our trip around the world of technology, 360 degrees starts and ends right here.